Tech Legion, and what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at ASUS AI Suite 3 four-way optimization. This is this is a the dual intelligent proce processor four, which is which comes on many of their uh, main mainstream segment boards, and basically what this function does is it tunes your system automatically to the best possible settings and it'll give you a maximum overclock so basically all you need to do is click on the four-way optimization click on start it'll ask you if you want to continue it'll restart your computer and then it'll start tuning your system so we'll go ahead and wait for the system to start here usually doesn't take that long so it's not that bad I can play some music for you if you want in any case uh, basically what it's going to do is going to tune 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 the uh, system and give me the best possible settings per whatever my my CPU could do so we'll go ahead and click on there and it should come up shortly okay as you can see what it's doing is it is slowly bringing down the frequencies it takes about a minute to go and it'll start doing some system tests to see what frequency you could actually get the CPU to. This does take a while so I'm going to go ahead and wait the 40 or 38 seconds here so I could show you what it does. It'll it'll raise it'll raise the CPU or the boost by one by one, uh, you know, the one multiplier, meaning so right now it started up at 43. So it'll raise it to 44, it'll do a stress test on it. If it passes, it'll go to 45, and so on and so on. It takes about anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes, depending on how good your processor is. So if it's going to go all the way up to, say, 49, it's going to take a little bit. So as soon as this shows us what it's going to do, I'll go ahead and stop it, and then when it finally does reach my reach my maximum overclock then I'll go ahead and start the uh, start the video again okay so it ran through the TPU and it looks like we got a 4.7 gigahertz clock speed with two cores and two cores down to 46 now it's running through EPU it'll do the energy optimization for you then after that of course it's going to do a fan optimization and then it will go ahead and do the digi VRM so this doesn't really take that long so I'll go ahead and leave it on and we go watch it but basically it's going to auto tune my fans for me right now I only have one fan I have a CPU fan since I have this on a test bench so we should be fine it does take about three to four minutes to actually do the do the fan As you can see, we're at 86% now. It'll hang there for a couple, and then it'll go to 100. So we're done with uh, the fan. And then it should go to the Digi VRM. There we go. And it's just going to adjust the uh, digital power control frequency right now. And there, we, there you have it. So as you can see, 
it tuned the it tuned the uh, the processor to 4.7 gigahertz from 3.9, which would be the turbo boost. Of course, you see you have two active cores that are 47 and two that are 46. It also boosted the GPU, so we now have an overclocked GPU at 8%. Let's scroll down, and you can see your EPU configured max configured max power is off. Recommended is 30 37 watts. Add-on USB power ports are available. That means you can shut off uh, your your ports for your add-on USB. The CPU fan benchmark, basically this is what it did. It went and adjusted my CPU fan to the different temperatures to speed it up and to bring it down. So technically, that took about 12 minutes. Of course, we're not watching the video for 12 minutes, but it took about 12 minutes. So let's go ahead and I will go ahead and run Cinebench, just the CPU test, and we'll see what it gives us. Now normally at, at its stock speeds I get about 8.15 on a CPU test for Cinebench, so let's see what type of performance gains we've got now with that nice overclock and that Auto -tune, on the uh, Auto-Tune in ASUS AI Suite 3. As you can see it's running pretty fast. It ha does have multi-threading so of course you're going to see the 8 cores running at one time or hyper-threading, I'm sorry. It's almost done. 10.03 from 8.15. Not bad. So as you can see, it does work and it is stable because usually if you don't have a stable overclock, you're not going to get you're not going to get through uh, through Cinebench. Now, if I will go over here and let me just go to the desktop real quick, or not the desktop, but control panel here. And we'll go ahead and set this to high performance, and we'll see what our voltages are. Alright, so right now I'm running a CPU core, well it'll go up and down depending on the needs, but CPU core voltage, and let's go into TPU, take a further look. Alright, so here you go. The CPU core voltage is set to adaptive, it's got an offset of 0.25. The OC voltage is at 1.25, so that gives you a one, it equals 1.275 volts with the offset and and the uh, static. CPU cache voltage, everything is at default here. As you can see, our grouping is 47 for two cores, 46, 46 for two other cores. Down here, of course, are your you're fairly simple. It, it brings everything up for you if you want to take a look through it that way. Of course, you got your CPU temperature, and as you can see, we're between 46 and 47 on our auto tune. Well, that's it for four way optimization. Sorry about that. That's it for four way optimization with a ASUS AI Suite 3. Thank you for watching. Since you are watching, why not subscribe to our channel? Make sure you read the full review of this and many other ASUS motherboard reviews at www.hitechlegion.com. And remember, with over a thousand videos uploaded to our YouTube channel, if you didn't see it at High Tech Legion, you might not have seen it at all. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com front slash HTL reviews. Of course, we do have a Twitter page, twitter.com front slash high tech legion. Stay thirsty, my friends. See you the next time. Bye-bye.